Thank you for coming back to our channel. Due to the inability to procure advanced wafer fabrication tools from manufacturers in America, Europe, and Japan, China is compelled to create its own fabrication equipment. Huawei is in the process of establishing a substantial research and development center in the vicinity of Shanghai. The aim is to create chip-making tools that can compete with systems engineered by ASML, Canon, and Nikon, as reported by Nikkei. In this video, we will dissect what Huawei's plan to develop this ambitious project and what implications could it have for ASML and the US. So stay tuned and keep watching. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Huawei's primary focus of the R&D center will be the development of lithography machines, which are crucial for the production of chips on leading edge nodes. Currently, Huawei's partners, SMIC and Wahong, are unable to acquire litho tools that would enable them to manufacture logic chips based on 14 nanometers, 16 nanometers FinFET process technologies and beyond. However, they can still secure lithography systems capable of 28 nanometers. As a result, the machines developed by Huawei must be capable of at least 28 nanometers, if not better, ideally 14 nanometers, 16 nanometers. Presently, ASML dominates the lithography tools market with a control of over 90%. The R&D center is strategically situated in Shanghai's Qingpu district. It is part of a larger campus that houses facilities for Huawei's chip design unit, High Silicon T, along with R&D centers for wireless technologies and smartphones. The campus, covering an area equivalent to about 224 football fields, is estimated to have received an investment of 12 billion yen, $1.66 billion. Upon completion, it will have the capacity to house over 35,000 employees. In a bid to secure top-notch talent, Huawei is providing competitive remuneration packages and has already onboarded engineers with experience from leading chip tool builders and chip makers. With the inability of Huawei and other China-based firms to hire U.S. citizens and green card holders for leading their projects, the reduction of presence in China by ASML, Applied Materials, KLA, and LAM Research has opened up opportunities for these companies to hire experienced Chinese nationals. In 2023, Huawei's R&D expenditure hit a record high of 164.7 billion yen, $22.756 billion, making up 23.4% of its total revenue. This substantial investment highlights the company's dedication to innovation, with the increase largely attributed to escalating investments in the development of wafer fabrication tools. Prior to its inclusion in the US trade blacklist, Huawei's primary focus was on chip design, working in collaboration with major contract chipmakers such as TSMC and Global Foundries. However, post the imposition of restrictions on access to American technologies, the company pivoted its focus towards working with SMIC, a contract chipmaker based in China. It is now reported that Huawei is venturing into chip production itself, forming partnerships with entities backed by local governments in several Chinese cities, including Shenzhen, Qingdao, and Shenzhou. This essentially translates to Huawei investing in fabs that it operates and are co-owned by local and federal governments. Furthermore, Huawei has made investments in a number of local chip material providers in an effort to patronize local suppliers and invest in domestic alternatives. The real questions are not centered around Huawei's ability or inability to create its own lithography machines, but rather the time frame within which it can achieve this and the potential consequences this could have for ASML and the US. 1. Market Competition. ASML, a leading player in the lithography machine market, could face increased competition. If Huawei's machines are comparable in quality and more cost-effective, it could potentially disrupt the market share. 2. Technological Independence. China's dependence on foreign suppliers for advanced chip-making equipment, particularly from companies in the US and its allies, would decrease. This could alter the dynamics of the global semiconductor industry. 3. Trade Relations. The success of Huawei's project could influence trade relations and policies. The US and other countries might reassess their export control policies, 
especially if they perceive a shift in the balance of power in the semiconductor industry. 4. Economic Impact U.S. companies that currently supply chip-making equipment to China might experience a decline in business, which could have broader economic implications. 5. Innovation Drive This development could spur further innovation and competition in the field of chip-making technology, pushing companies like ASML and others to invest more in R&D to maintain their competitive edge. With a substantial R&D investment that accounts for 23.4% of its total revenue, Huawei is well positioned to successfully launch this new lithography manufacturing venture. This will enable it to become completely self-sufficient in expanding its AI and mobile business, without the looming threat of US sanctions. We will remain vigilant, monitoring this new project, and will provide updates as soon as Huawei releases any new information. That concludes our report for now. Thank you for watching our AI news update. Please subscribe to our channel for more intriguing news about AI technologies and innovation from around the world.